fight forest fires. Y'all remember smoking the beer? What about my gruff? Yeah, no. I used to wear the long coat. I think we used to try to tell the kids they all drugs. Exit 111A. US 1 South. Next. Woo! Woo! Slow it down. Slow it down. 25 miles per hour. Woo! Tight little exit right there. Y'all seen that sign that said Lexington. Y'all didn't figure out where I'm at. I'm at West Columbia. West Columbia, South Carolina. Come on, buddy. You. Right, all right. We got it. We got it. We got it, baby. We still got a bird drop one more. y'all saw my face it's been a while last time y'all seen me we didn't have to wear masks everywhere we go how y'all like my tarp job all the way to the right straight in all right Ugh, 
Didn't even have to check in. As soon as I got out, dude told me to pull straight in. Sales counter through gates. Vendor unloading area. Straight in. Let me send my uh, send my rabbit cosign e call real quick, so my dispatcher can start looking for a load. Cosine two oh one one five two oh one two oh one five eight seven. All right, let me get out, get this tarp off. Damn, flam dog. Hey, run that shit up, Chase. Those tarps look. Look pretty decent. People always ask me for advice. I, I really don't be. I might have some good advice sometimes, but not all the time. I really just speak from from what I deal with in my experiences. But one thing I can tell y'all about them tarps. People always have a contest and who can fold the tarps up the best. Those don't look bad. And that's and that's a rush job. That's a rush job right there. That's how I always do it. Two folds, one big fold, walk the air out, roll them up. So we keep our tarps on our trailers over here at PNS. So they don't gotta be super tight, like going to a, a side box. But my theory about tarps, this is my theory. It's no point to try to get that tarp as pretty as it can be just for you to go 50 miles down the road and got to unroll it right back out. All you're doing is wasting time. Don't waste time trying to make them as pretty as they can be. Cause those, those don't, they don't look bad. Those don't look bad. Don't waste time trying to make them pretty. If you're going to go down the road 50 miles and unroll them again. That makes sense. I know it do. Help me understand. Help me understand. Makes a lot of sense. They already started on the load. They got the back of it off. Now we just got these bundles in the middle.
I'm at the promised land. It's a load I picked up yesterday. Load I got yesterday. Check my straps. I'm gonna tighten them up when I come back out of the office. A couple of them, they all pretty tight. Yes, a couple of them I can put a couple, a couple clicks on. Promise Lane, PNX, Emporia Terminal. I gotta stop and get some IFTA stickers. Then I'm gonna keep it pushing. Headed to uh, Sparrows Point, Maryland. Seventeen oh five. Dion Melvin. Ain't too many pre. Oh, there they go. Preloads. There's the preloads. Be tighten these straps up. And we ride back on the road. Flatbed gang. Drop those snowmans. Drop the snowmans in the comments. Snowman. Made it to Spurs Point. You know what, this is about the third time I've been to this place. I'm trying to figure out the best way to get in here. I just passed the exit gate. First time I came, I actually came in the exit gate. And I had, they told me to pull down and turn around at the office. The last time I came, I came the same way I'm coming right now. But it's another entrance on the other side that I thought was a, a better way to get over here. But I just took that one. And I ended up at a at a rail yard. I had to back out and find somewhere to turn around at. So I'm starting to think that this actually might be the only way in here. But I'm about, I'm about to find out. When I make this right up here, I'm gonna find out. I got a reload like five like five minutes from here. I just passed it coming in. And what's crazy, the first time I came here, because this address don't show up on the truck GPS, you gotta use Google Maps to get in here. It's, I actually went to the other place a while back, dropped the load off that should have came here. And they told me, they was like, yeah, you gotta go around the corner and all that. Gotta do, gotta do some investigation. Use my investigative skills. Caution, watch for real cars. There's a lot of mud out here. I ain't about to try my truck up on that hill. I'm about to find, I'm about, I need to. It's gotta be a way that you can get in this gate from that other side. I ain't found it yet. It doesn't look like it. I gotta go real wide right here. Yeah, I don't think it's a way to get in this gate. Unless I come all the way around the way I came. But we're here though. Last time, and then last time I was here as well, which was actually last week, I actually came here to, and picked up a load. I was hoping I could get reloaded here again today, but it didn't work out like that. We made it. We made it. I remember that Soldier Boy Drake song. We made it. Do, 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 We made it. Hey, go on YouTube and look it up. Drake featuring Soldier Boy. It's actually Soldier Boy featuring Drake. One of the two. It's called We Made It. Ah, we here.
Look at that mud. About to get muddy rolling these up. You see it? Yeah. And to top it all off, I did this. Damn, Flim Dog. Fuck. Hey, run that shit up, Chase. Third load right here. It's the third one. Just going to Rock Hill, South Carolina. I gotta pull up front and tarp it. Third load, people. Third load. In two days. I'm up here on Ruth the Glen right now. Ruth the Glen, exit 104. Flying Jake. Gotta go to Corral inside here. That load I just got, I picked it up in uh, Sparrows Point, Maryland. That's where I was at. That's where I was at. Whew. I ain't tired. I ain't tired at all. But, hey, but the main reason I've been away, I've been away for these past three months, is because, man, I really I really do be working hard, man. If y'all don't believe me, I really do be working hard. Working real hard. <laughs> and I just ain't took the time out to make these videos because everything is at a fast pace. Like this video right here, you see I dropped one load off. I went and picked the next, one, the next one up. It was like an hour away. I had to run my whole clock out. Actually went home last night and still had to get up this morning and drive six hours. And that's what I did today, dropped that load off. Then the one I got right now, I picked it up like 15 minutes away and just ran my clock out again I got 43 minutes left on my clock right now and I got another six hours to drive in the morning. So like you see how this time is crunching, really don't be a lot of time to really do anything in between. But my new year's resolution to myself and to y'all, the flatbed gang, is that I would take the time out, just have a little bit of patience to make some videos. And, that, and here we are, Ruth to Glen, Virginia. My buddy, I'm about to turn the camera around. He's right over here waiting on me. Cause he been here for like an hour, but I was coming out of damn Baltimore fighting that damn traffic. So uh, let me put my coat on real quick and get out. See that, see that PNS truck right there? <laughs> That's my buddy. He waiting on me. Let me show y'all my tarp job. Pretty phenomenal. Pretty phenomenal. PNS game. You see him over there. With his looking ass. Here we go. Vlogging, man. Vlogging. Building materials. Hey, you secure the hell out of that. Hey, where the chains at? Chain. That's what you call the flatbed gang meal right there. 
fish, bourbon chicken, turkey, rice, flatbed game meal.